Uh, yep, keep this hand. Looks pretty solid. I'm gonna just start with stomping ground top tier. And uh, oh, Plains Sky March Aspirant. All right, I guess. Uh, so I could either go Groot Spiral Shield and Fire, or I could go search for Atskanta. I think I'm gonna go uh, Groot Spiral. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think. Not entirely sure what is the best line, but yeah, hopefully it's that one. Usually you want to kill the white creatures if they have a bunch of creatures so that they can't go uh, venerate the Loxodon. But I don't think this is the case because obviously they can't go venerate the Loxodon on this turn. And there's nothing that they can protect them. Ooh, welcome. Welcome, Double Fried. It's been a while. It's been a while since I don't see my... My, my usual viewers. Hopefully this is a this is actually a good time for you, right? Thanks for helping my fantasy league team win. Oh, you won thanks to me. Nice, nice. Yeah, also my also my my Pro Tour team series team helped me uh, thanked me for her the fantasy team win. <laughs> Find your work. Well done at the Magic tournament. I look from Australia. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Your latest paradoxical video was great. I I'm happy to hear that. Uh, here we're looking for land, so I mean you don't just opt main phase. They say hello. I say bottom, and I also and say actually bottom. in some cases. Wow. Look at the look on Reed's face there. He can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's gotta become a meme at some point. By the way, guys, I can't really say how happy I am to get all the subscription, all the love from uh, from the community birdly 217 this is just uh, this is just love and um because obviously like i just returned from streaming after like two weeks of testing for the magic championship the mythic championship so like you guys subscribing to me is just it's just wonderful Pun is just saying hello 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 i guess they want me to say hello back biardondo time to sleep for me yeah time to sleep for you unfortunately i just went live since um since uh i'm pretty much jet lagged i just woke up this is the so-called moto bug where you just uh, put to the bottom a card and you draw the same one so yeah it's barely subscribe tier two the risk of that finally able to watch a stream yeah th thank you very much thank you very much Beardly. i hope you enjoy as much as everyone else does and actually, in some cases, <laughs> look at the look on Reed's face there, he can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Alexander Nevermind, an another subscriber. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Really, really thank you. And here we are, trying to play this new deck. Trying to play this new deck. I'm gonna, um, so my schedule... Alright, so uh, this to me look like a... Venerate Loxodon probably. I'm just gonna let this resolve. I don't really know what can we do to like I guess it's just gonna be Niv Miss at the Peru and then just to protect it to win. Wait, has that been confirmed a bug? No 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 Landmorn, I'm jo I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, yeah. I was I was expecting Venerate Loxodon and that's why it's low roll the sinister sabotage and here it is. I'm joking. That that that's that's a joke. If you if you play Magic Online, uh alright, um one second here. I have a land, I think I need this land here. Uh I need this land because I wanna just go explosion for infinite. Um basically you just you just see the top card that you put in the graveyard and then you draw the same one. It's 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 a joke. It's not it's not real. I, don't, I need to shave actually now that I think about it. Usually I have some rituals when I go to the PT, for example, I never shave. Uh but yeah, I came back and I still didn't shave. Alright, uh now so I've never played with the card Wilderness Reclamation. So I want to see how this goes. I want exactly. I don't. I don't want to make mistakes. So I'm gonna go to the main phase. All right. This is a hold priority. 
and now we're gonna just cast a huge uh, explosion here so uh, I'll let this resolve and then after that I'm gonna cast explosion expansion for uh, I don't know I don't know how much mana is this 10 so for 6 I'm gonna kill a creature here I'm just gonna kill a dauntless bodyguard so I'm gonna go explosion for uh, how much is it 6 right all right so let's go 6 so pay target a dauntless bodyguard and uh, draw 6 resolve all right looks like we, we did not misclick and this should be all good all right resolve resolve let's see if we misclicked all right we didn't and that's all good we have seven cards in end and we passed the turn and that's the combo you don't need to mono it up the second time yeah all right yeah maybe maybe i didn't need that but <laughs> Better, better be sure. All right, so we get a bunch of damage, but that's not that relevant. Like a fairy counter, the opponent has Dauntless Bodyguard, who's, got, who's protecting as number century, so it's not even that relevant because this is a zero three. It still dies to my fairy cannonade. So this game is, is just locked up. We just cast Niv Miss it, and the game is over. So actually, we needed that third explosion. <laughs> All right, this is a nice start. Nice start, this deck looks cool, and uh, it doesn't play Nexus of Fate, so we can play the Investor one. Alright, Growth Spiral, yeah, whatever, I'll, I think I'll keep it on top. It's just an extra spell. I mean, this way I'm not gonna flip um, at Scanta though, but whatever. So I'm just gonna play Niv, I'm gonna put the stop end of turn, even though maybe I don't need it. Ooh, look at this dragon. Ooh, that's nice, this is a nice dragon. Alright, I'll go gonna... Oh, yeah, opponent has explode and uh yep yeah, that's that was easy oh yeah thank you very much for remember me that i should update uh, the the thing so i'm gonna go uh add com deck list and put it add com deck yeah thank you very much uh low monarch for that for the reminder i'm still gold tier 2 if you see and that's um not because i suck <laughs> but because i mainly practiced in real life or uh, on magic online um actually in standard only real life what did you play at mc cleveland i played sultai i played sultai uh, i'm a sultai lover but in best of three, in best of one, Sultai kind of blows. So here we are, not playing Sultai. Opponent goes first, and this hand, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's keep it up. I love you platonically. That's fine. That's fine. I love you. I love you all platonically. Your or spear spewer. Wow. Put on one of us. Pew some spears. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I've been told that I have to put my microphone here in front. Uh, I don't know if it's better, if it's worse, if you hear me better, if you hear me worse. Just, just tell me, because you know, despite I'm a, a I'm a, despite I'm a Twitch partner and everything, I'm still kind of new to this uh, to this Twitch word. So every help is uh, is well accepted. Here I'm gonna play on top land because my opponent might play just a burn spell and I might copy it to kill the Ashino Pyromancer. Way better, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, for some reason I was just putting it on side, but yeah, I should have just put it. Alright, light up the stage. Uh, This is pretty juicy to copy this, right? Until the end of your next turn. Hmm, maybe maybe there's not that many spells that I can copy. I'd rather just I'd rather just try to copy a, like a burn spell. Oh, double cast! Wow. How old am I? I am twenty uh, five. But you go there. Yeah, I I will um, I will play the mythic invitational Boston. Oh, there it is. And this is why uh, we play the untapped land. So now we can copy this and kill the Viashino Pyromancer. Uh, all right. So my opponent should have attacked first and then skewer me. This was a slight mistake on my opponent's side. 
We are on 13 though. My opponent uh, out 10 actually with a shock and a double cast over here. I don't feel very safe. I don't feel very safe. All right, double cast. Whenever when you cast your next instance of spell, copy that spell. Uh, okay. And then shock. Okay, so I'm gonna just explode. Uh, oh, wait one sec. Yeah, I'm gonna explode this expansion. This and um, and attempt to kill the the spear spewer. Put a will burn me in response. So I go down to five this turn. Five with two cards in hand for my opponent. We will be going Wilderness Reclamation plus Chemister's inside, but it might be just too late. Modern Monored is the king of best one. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Javier, Javier uh, uh, explained me how the mono, uh, the, the best of one goes. This is the first time. Wow, risk factor. All right, I guess I will uh, uh, decline. This is the first time for me playing best of one. So yeah, Mythic Invitational Boston will be a best of one tournament with uh, best three out of four. No, sorry, best two out of best two out, best two out of three with like you know a bunch of different card selection. It's it's a pretty weird format, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to 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 you know play a new format despite. All right. Oh oh, come on, come on. I should have put the stop. I didn't put the stop and the program just uh, made so that I couldn't uh, the program made so that I couldn't float mana. That was pretty bad because I could have just I basically burned I basically burned uh, 5 damage there. Sorry, 5 damage, 5 mana. Yeah. 2 of 3 with two different decks available to you exactly. That that's the format that we are going to play. All right, I decided to bin the um, the card there because yeah that's exactly what i wanted to draw all right so how much mana do i have i think i have a lot of mana right i have seven i have 21 mana wow i'm lethal <laughs> that's insane i'm lethal <laughs> this deck is crazy i'm lethal right now guys all right so let's not make misclicks so I'm not gonna read the chat because I'm too focused on not, not making misclicks now, all right? All right, so let's add some mana. Okay, so uh, resolve the first. Okay, let's add some mana. Hopefully you don't get timed out if you have like four of these guys. All right, let's resolve this and then and then I have 21 money in my pool so I can cast explosion select value I guess I have to do 17 so 12 plus not yeah pay Target, target, resolve. <laughs> All right, this was a good game. This was a good game. I'm gonna just now read the chat because the last minute I've been busy just adding mana in my pool. I really enjoy your run in the magic in the mythic championship. I hope for you to this game. I really enjoy. It. Yeah. Are your Drake's deck has let me build with it. Yeah, thank you very much. A lot of people love my 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 Drake deck. Thank you, thank you very much for the appreciations. And um, meanwhile, now we're just casually burning our opponent for seventeen damage. While they were busy burning us, we just burned them. Make test made them taste. Uh, how, how do you say that? Taste their own medicine. And actually, Ooh. in some cases, <laughs> look at the look on Reed's face there, he can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's gotta become a meme at some point. Thank you very much, the As a Spades, for the subscription. Guys, I love you all. This is a third subscription in what, like 15 minutes? 
Yeah, I can't believe all this support. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I don't only stream, but I also do a lot of work for Channel Fireball, channelfireball.com. Um, so you can check all my all my work there, articles and videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter as well, I post a lot of uh, decks and, and ideas and stuff like that. And then I also stream. And then I also stream, so yeah. There's a lot, yeah, legacy videos, of course. All right, opponent with a pretty bad end right here, because they're not doing much. I wonder what they have. Just a 1-1, one, one, that's fine. Where is the subscriber video goes from? It's from uh, Pro Tour Joining to Nyx, where I played against the Duke himself. You know I played against Reed Duke six times in my career? And uh, we were 4-1 for me, but at the PT, at the, at the last Mythic Championship, he beat me on round number 5. So now we are 4-2 for me. Our right, Heroic Reinforcements. Uh, this is cool, I can copy this. Mm, I can copy this two times. Oh, I can just syncopate it. Yeah, I'm gonna just syncopate this, whatever. Do you speak more languages than Italian and English? I do not. But I can understand Spanish. <laughs> I uh, whenever I, I it's been a while that I go to Javier Javier Dominguez's house, and uh, yeah, now I kind of no 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 come on come on come on come on come on why 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 all the misclicks in the word why. All right, I'm just gonna focus a little bit more now because you know reading chat answering blah 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 And then just I'm not really that uh, Practice with this deck I guess but my opponent is just super flooded. So probably doesn't matter Yeah, just gonna tap I guess all right more expansion. Is this lethal? No points on 27 uh, Yeah, gonna just uh, Okay, now let's put the stop now <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I guess, I guess, when I play for uh, a million dollar tournament, uh, I will not be uh, chatting and reading chat, and I will not be streaming. So uh, that will make me more focused, I guess. Uh, all right, we want to just uh, do max. No, I think I think I don't want to do max. I'm just gonna do. Just gonna do a small, uh, a small ex expansion for just eight, no big, just eight. Explosion, sorry. Yeah, what do I want to explode? Do I want to explode my opponent? I guess. I guess I'll explode my opponent. So I'm gonna just draw eight cards. Let's see if there's a. Nope, there isn't. So I'll resolve and then go to discard. I can change my options. Oh, really? Uh, later, later you tell me how. All right, so I'm gonna pass here. Let's see, my opponent's gonna put a counter, a token. I'm gonna just discard uh, yeah, all my shock lands. Uh... <laughs> you know, guys, I don't know if you watched my round 16 against Ben Friedman, but I actually over discarded. I. I had eight cards in hand, and I thought I had nine. I discarded two two lands. I, I like there's no way I would have lost, and um, and then like when in my when in my opponent's turn, I just go so I cast down, and then I realize that I only have five cards in my hand, uh, because you know I over discarded, um, and I call the judge and I say, hey judge, I over discarded, and and they go, yeah, um, I can't fix it. You over discarded. <laughs> I didn't know that you could have over discarded in Magic, but apparently that's a thing. And yeah, that, that, that's funny, I guess. Uh, all right, is my opponent dead here? Three, six, seven, seven, twenty-one. No, they aren't dead. All right, I guess I'll just uh, continue spending infinite time uploading mana. <laughs> this is not the best deck to record with. To, to, sorry to 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 stream with, because basically I'm just focused into not misclicking. I mean, there's basically no way I can lose those games, but uh, the fact that 
I have to be focused on not misclicking means that I can't really read chat. All right, uh, let's cast an expansion, sorry, an explosion for how much? 14, so for 10, pay, face, draw, resolve. Uh, no, you cannot copy. You cannot copy it because uh, you can only copy a spell that costs four or less. Uh, what you can copy is uh, what you can copy is fight with fire kickered, and that's the kind of the combo of the deck, of the of the just sky deck where you just go fight with fire kicker and then copy. All right, let's just discard whatever. Oh, this. What happens if you if you time out? Is it gonna discard just random cards? I'm I'm pretty curious. And actually, in some cases, <laughs> look at the look on Reed's face there. You can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's gotta become a meme at some point. Varus Dren, thank you very much for the sub. And uh, Varus Dren actually meet me at the. Um, at the Mythic Championship, was one of the person that came to me and said, hello, I'm a, a subscriber <laughs> to your channel. And I was like, yeah, thank you, thank you very much for the support. And uh, see you see you in two days, I guess. And here we are, Varus. Oh, the last cards you draw gets discarded. All right. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, guess I'm just gonna draw a bunch of cards. Play other cyclers. I guess I should have not discarded land, but whatever. Is my opponent dead? Uh, yeah, I guess they are. Let's put the stop. Float mana. <laughs> yeah, I think this deck is pretty good. I mean, we did not have it. We did not lose the game, and wasn't really uh, that hard. Like. It's actually pretty easy, pretty easy games. We even won against the burn deck that kind of put us a lot of pressure on, on us. All right, so resolve this too. And then finally, let's explode the last mana. And let's explode our opponent for, uh, yeah, explosion. So I have what, 17, pay, you, me, resolve. And there's 21 cards in my deck, so I got, don't get decked. You are in gold though, yeah, I am, I am in gold. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Uh, all right, uh, now I wanna change the, the options. Because you guys told me that there's a possibility of uh, changing the options. Was rooting for you to make top 8, yeah. It's rooting also for me to make top 8. Alright, uh, how, how do I adjust my options? Gameplay, I guess. Hmm. So it's here. Uh, I'll send the comment I just... Not here. So where is it? Where is it? Can you guys tell me? tell me where is it? Do, do, do you guys know exactly where should I look for the options to, all, to always stop in the, the same? Auto order, auto order triggered. Auto order. This one? So I remove this, what happens? Auto order triggered. They're not for, all right. I, I don't know what this means, but I guess, I guess I'll find out. Let's continue playing. Yeah. I'm still in gold. <laughs> um, while waiting in, in Cleveland, there was a lot of delay, so I was waiting. I was just trying to play a little bit of best of one with Javier. Um, and I was playing uh, Sultai, and then I tried to adjust it to green black, but I was just losing a lot. 
uh, to mono red and then Javier told me just just play mono red you know it's the fastest way through to 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 mythic and I just got eight one in the first nine matches and then and then it was time to board in the flight so yeah I get I guess I guess if I you if you have to rank first uh, very fast and you don't care about you know uh, mono red is the best. I'll ask you to okay. You'll be able to determine your triggers. Do you have the mono red list? Oh, it's it's very straightforward. It's just uh, it's just uh, it's just mono red with all four offs, two skewer the critics, and eighteen lands. Yeah, I know that. That's why I'm not streaming with mono red. <laughs> I, 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 Javier just told me that it was the best to just rank up. But then uh, Levy pointed out that in two days <laughs> the, the the season ends, so there's no real point in in ranking up. So I'm just doing for the funsies now and playing the sweet deck that I was very interesting in trying, in trying to see what it is, how it, how it is. All right. Uh, so we're looking for uh, the reclamation card. Without that card, the games are definitely, definitely harder. I'm gonna just play another top land. The reason is that in this matchup, I never want to play an top land, and I have already Syncopate, in case my opponent plays a Chain Whirler. Yeah, of course, with Frenzy, yes, yes, for Frenzy. How do you feel about Dredge minus Dredge in Legacy? Uh, yeah, I mean, Dredge is a good deck. It's a deck that uh, I'm not a fan of, but... Um, always lose to it whenever I play my 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 fair Delver or or control decks. I I prefer it with mana. I prefer it more with mana, but I guess mana less. It's it's also pretty strong. All right, uh, I'm passing here. Remind me, to, uh, remind me what pro team are you on? Team Sirius. I'm on Haruya uh, Sword. Haruya Sword. It's now currently third. In the Pro Team series, we were first after the last PT. I guess we were second after the last PT. Uh, this PT, uh, only only I did well. Uh, only I did well uh, among our team, so we didn't really make too much point. But we're still third. The we, you need to get top two after 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 four Pro Tours after the four Mythic Championships. So it's still it's still gonna be a long uh, a long run before the the finals of the team series. But still, it's pretty. It's pretty cool to be there. Uh, Osmali, just yeah, all right. Late stream night, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, for me, this feels like morning because I woke up at midnight. No, probably one a.m. Something like that. All right, I guess I drew wildness reclamation. I guess this means that we'll we'll just win because this card is basically like one card combo. Feels like playing with scape shift four mana. It's a four mana game over for my opponent. Okay, let's see. It didn't auto stop, guys. It didn't auto stop. I did what you what you guys told me told me to do, but it didn't auto stop. Uh, isn't Reeve first? No, I don't even know. Oh, Re Re what's Reeve? Uh, no, first is a channel fireball. Second is ultimate guard, and third is us. Uh, or am I confused? Channel Fireball Ultimate Guard, but yeah, I know, I know that we are third after them. This deck is super fun. It's definitely fun. You love my legacy video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, the next one should be Enchantress. It had a little bit of audio problems because when I recorded it, I, 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 um, I think misclicked the the audio, the 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 out like the the. It wasn't the microphone I was using. I was using the um, another thing. So. Uh, it's pretty bad, but <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully it's, it's still it's still bearable. All right, let's put the stop in end step. Actually, I don't need the stop in end step. I can just you know pass the turn. Yeah, it stops if you have two triggers. Oh, I understand. Oh, okay, I understand. All right, Legion War Boss. Uh, yeah, let's just counter whatever. I'm on seven life. Yeah, let's just let's just counter it. So draw a card. Yeah, resolve all. Resolve all thing is is nice. Oh, fiery cannonade. Uh, let's do one damage to this. Where can I see the deck list? Just go exclamation mark deck or exclamation mark deck list, and you see the deck. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you can um, you can see the list. 
Should have killed in my turn. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I didn't put the stop, so it didn't work. Um, now I'll be more careful with the stops. All right, I'm gonna just put this in graveyard because whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to. I have to put the stop. Uh, all right. So, um, put it will attack. Uh, what can I do? Is just cast fire cannonade, I guess. But then my opponent can just have a burn spell for my niv it. So maybe it's better if I just go uh, Growth Spiral. Draw a card. Kill one Gitu Lava Runner that way. Uh, and, and then block the other one. Because it's just a 1-2. And um, I'll put a land, all right. Then triggers again, we kill that. I'm actually gonna go opt to play around, as I said, the same reason. I just wanna play around a, a lightning bolt on my Niv Mizzet the Perun. So I just play opt here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're still in beta on Arena. That will, that will definitely implement something that in the uh, that you can so what do you do here? Okay, so that 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 you can uh, that you can just you know set a stop forever, just like you can do in Magic Online. All right, so we draw again, deal a damage there, so we don't have to block. You know, just 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 better be safe. There's no way we can lose this game. I mean, we can lose this game. Uh, yeah, no, there's no way we can lose this game. This 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 game is over right now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just ping my opponent. Should have pinged my opponent also before, because you know there's no point in pinging the fanatical firebrand. Uh, all right, so we attack. So we attack. I mean, this is just infinite damage right now. It's just infinite. It's, it's really infinite. I can't really count how much damage it is. It's probably like 50 damage. I don't know. Alright, whatever. Let's do the thing. And actually, in some cases... Wow. Look at the look on Reed's face there. He can't quite believe what's happening to him here. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's gotta become a meme at some point. Thank you very much, Team Polish Swag for the subscription again, second month. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm now a little bit busy because I have to uh, add my money in the pool, then I'm gonna just do, you know, uh, usual stuff. But <laughs> now gotta add money in my pool. <laughs> That's it's quite, um, all right. So we resolve this. So if I cast this right now, it's x equals 7, and that should be the game. So uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, yeah, all right. So x equals 7, pay you, me, resolve, and, and that is it. Congrats on 12.4. Very nice, see you on stream. That scoop was great, yeah. Yeah, I, I did practice a lot uh, of mirror match, like very much, very, very much. And uh, time is a problem. So if you know you're losing, just concede and go to the next game. Play as fast as you can. Make your opponent play as fast as you can. And um, and yeah, and then you and then you, you can finish three games. White background emotes. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rostich. Rusty's charm. I made my own emotes and they suck. <laughs> but you know, they are they have the the love of uh of you know I made my own emotes. So you know I can't say yeah, you know. Uh, how do you say it's honest work? You know the meme uh, of the old countryman saying it's honest work? That's exactly what it is, it's honest work. M those emotes are honest work. How were your draft? Uh, I drafted uh, Simic two times. Ooh, Kaya. Kaya does nothing, right? Uh, yeah. All right, you can have Kaya. Um, your scoop in 20 seconds was epic, yeah. That was, uh, that was really nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna just play on top land. I have Sinister Sabotage. I don't care about uh, not shocking myself in this matchup. I actually don't know what we're playing against. As long as there's, as long as 
the cascade it's fine all right i'm just gonna syncopate this pay reduce the count uh uh sure sure it's far as can fair enough like um i'd rather just keep a counter for something that pressures me rather than rather than um rather than use a counter for that i guess they can target my chemistry's inside next turn are you able to resubmit to edit? Because it could remove the background for you. It's fine. Don't worry, Cake Cat. I love, I love my own, uh, my my own crappy emotes. All right, another Seraph of the Scales. I'm gonna just exile this. I'm gonna shoot it. Yeah, whatever. It does, doesn't really matter. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Brandon Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know they don't suck. I know, I know, I know they don't suck, but they're not, like, as nice as someone who, like, uh, like, uh, Yudza told me he paid, like, you know, a very, a quite high amount for each emote. Uh, and, uh, and whereas I just did myself in, like, you know, in one minute. And I think, and I think I like them. All right, more cards got exiled. How many cards have in exile? Three. All right, pass, pass, my turn, draw two cards. Where is the reclamation? All right, here we have a niv -Mizzet, but I don't feel safe in casting niv -Mizzet yet. Uh, I kind of just want to go Chemistry's Insight and copy it with the expansion. So I'm just going to pass here. I want to dig down to find a reclamation, and then once we find that, the game is going to be kind of over. Where do you live? I live in Senigallia. So like one hour south to Rimini, Bologna, maybe two hours south Bologna. It's a pretty small town on the on the Adriatic coast. Totten Greeks is finished in Legacy. Ooh, it's quite spicy. Uh, all right, uh, now I now she'll go full control, right? So I have to cast this, discard a card. Uh, I'll discard a uh, uh, breeding pool. And then I want to copy it with expansion. Sorry, explosion. Uh, Grixis Phoenix is uh, is a sweet deck. It's a sweet deck. I'm not sure if it's you know better than like Grixis Dever or Grixis Control. Probably not. But uh, yeah, I mean you have to try. I I don't I don't really know. I don't really know. I play Legacy for fun mainly. Um, so you don't have to just take my words always as uh, you know truth all right uh, i can give my opponent a brasca's contempt i think they have three cards they should have missing land drop they should be missing land drop i think it's gonna overload uh, them with cards you're still in the usa no 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 i'm in italy and i but it's like i'm in usa because uh, i'm super jet lagged so it kind of feels like i'm in the usa all right, uh, Search for Ascanta does nothing because of um, Kaya. You're gonna play Growth Spiral. Uh, looking for, uh, I guess looking for, exp um, what's called? We are looking for uh, Timber Reclamation, not Reclamation, We're looking for Reclamation here. So at the end of turn, I'm gonna go Chemistry's Insight Explosion. If you ever do want to read that, <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much cake cat for uh your offer all right unfortunately now we have to give our opponent a land we tried to put them away of lands but it didn't work all right so they exile a bunch of stuff basically we are we are just digging down to find a reclamation my opponent has two planeswalker at seven and nine loyalty and they do nothing that's pretty funny usually planeswalker kind of you know shape the game around them but uh, these happen to be the two probably kind of weakest planeswalker out in the legally standard oh, maybe uh, all right let's put control again let's cast chemistry's insight and let's copy it with a expansion submit resolve all so I'm gonna draw four cards. Let's see if we find a. Let's see if we find a reclamation. 
We don't, that's quite unfortunate. Not that our opponent has any pressure, so it's all good. Thank you, Page Master. All right. Still didn't find what I was looking for. It's kind of unusual. Let's get deeper. Let's get deeper down. All right. We find a fine card, not special. Uh, I kind of want to just cast Chemistry's Insight this turn because my opponent will most likely just exile with Kaya. So I need to pay four mana. I guess I could have taken it. All right, I'm just gonna play Search for Atkanta, play Topland, probably go to discard. I guess that at this point that I have to discard, go to play on Topland. How many cards do we have? We have nine cards. All right, I'll play in on Topland. And actually, Ooh. in some cases. <laughs> Look at the look on Reed's face there. He can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Oh, so many subscription guys today. What is this? Like the fifth one? The sixth one? <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the, the love. Thank you very much. GBA Connors. GBA Connors. Opponent did not exile chemistry inside. That's probably a mistake. That case, I will not play the response. Is it the time zone you do not stream during this time normally? What is the next legacy video? Oh, next legacy video every time. Time zone? No, I don't. Know. I don't know stream in this hour usually. This is two twenty-two a.m. in Italy right now. Usually, in this time I sleep. Um, but today I woke up at one a.m. in Italy. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But it's not even it's not even a, uh, it's not even American um, time zone. It's just uh, whatever time zone. <laughs> so basically, I should I should just <laughs> my legacy videos. By the way, guys are uh, you know trying to trying to just do them every. Basically, I, I submit them to Channel Fireball and then they publish on their channel whenever whenever they feel like. All right, looking for this uh, namesake card of the deck. I'm gonna go graveyard. Where is where are your reclamation? I have twenty eight cards in my deck, and still no reclamation. I guess I should have taken the. I guess I should have taken the. The sinister sabotage a bunch of turns ago. All right, let's cast this this nip mizi. Nine cards in my exile zone, by the way, guys. This this Kaya can deal me quite some damage. All right, uh, let's pass the turn. Did you forget to put Reclamation in the deck? <laughs> no, I didn't. So far, we won every game uh, with your Reclamation, but uh, all the time. Our right, rest is contempt. Let's draw a card first. Uh, what do we want to deal damage to? I guess my opponent. I don't care about their Planeswalker, I don't care about the Tocatli. So I just deal damage to, to this. Play Syncopate, X equal 2. Hopefully they don't, hopefully they don't top red mana. Please, yeah, auto topper left red mana up. I still haven't drawn a Reclamation, that's very weird. Probably have to go to this card now. Great job this weekend. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really appreciated all the compliments that I received on Twitter for uh, that game against Ben. It was a pretty cool game, pretty cool game. Uh, Ritual of Sooth was, uh, yeah, was a... I decided to sideboard it in against, uh, against Ben. Usually I didn't sideboard it in, but I felt like doing it <laughs> in that matchup and uh, yeah, kind of got, kinda got rewarded. How many reclamation? Four. Four reclamation. Kaya's Wrath. All right, draw, deal one damage to my opponent. I guess I'll play Shivam Fire. Looking to draw Reclamation. Yeah, there it is, all right. Though I don't have any spell, which is funny. But I have nine cards in my graveyard, so now uh, the Search Rath Kanta will flip. Despite my opponent exiling a bunch of cards in the graveyard. Uh, library. Transform. So I'll play Wilderness. I'll play Nivmizi. 
I'll play a uh, top land and I'll pass the turn. All right, so I have nine cards in exile zone. Oh, actually I'm dead. All right. I guess I overlooked Kaya just about to kill me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they should have paid more attention to Kaya there. Nice, nice. Lost to Kaya. That, that, that was pretty hard to lose too, but whatever. Don't you have to take care of Kaya? Yeah, I should have taken care of Kaya. You know exactly what happened to Kaya. No, I don't know. Uh, should have countered that you plays. No, I mean, I should have just, just burned Kaya at some point. I kind of overlooked at it. Pengu, I'm at an okay game. You're an okay game? You know, I've, I've never, I never, I never even watch an okay game on, on television. Like, I don't really know whatever. And actually, Ooh. in some cases, look at the look on Reed's face there, he can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Ooh, all the, all the risk up. Thank you very much, Robert. All right, search for it can't. I can't counter this. His opponent just drew it now. That, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, all right, I'll pass. Should I draw a reclamation in the top two third of the deck? Yeah, that was, that was weird. But yeah, I mean, I, I would have still win easily that game if I just see that Kai is on five and I'm on, and I'm on eight. Everybody ignores Gaia, yeah, everybody ignores Gaia, he said because it does nothing, but yeah. I mean, uh, uh, all right, so let's draw two cards, hopefully, yep, all right, uh, more lands. I guess I'm playing on top lands, I don't really care about playing top lands in this matchup. I don't really know how does this matchup go. Uh, you're a very agreeable person. What does that mean? All right, this isn't a nice play, by the way. Syncopate, um, syncopate the chemistry's insight is nice because it get exiled. Well, what's that about her being a weak place walker? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kaya just and actually, in some cases, <laughs> look at the look on Reed's face there. He can't quite believe what's happening to him. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's gotta become a meme at some point. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the subs, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say thank you that <laughs> enough. I don't know, was this like seventh? Seventh sub? That's lots of love. What rank are you? Uh, right now, I'm gold, I'm gold. Uh, but then, uh, but that's mainly because I don't really play too much. Uh, I think I'm gonna just resolve. I don't wanna, I don't wanna just cast an explosion right now. Uh, that's because I don't really uh, play too much of um, uh, standard on Arena. I'm gonna just start now doing more because of the practice for the Mythic Invitational. Before it was just practicing for the Mythic uh, Championship, uh, which was tabletop, paper, and I prefer playing paper if I have to practice for a paper tournament. Um, but now, okay, so what do we want to do now? I think I'm just going to cast another chemistress from my hand rather than from my graveyard. Congrats on the top 16. Was rooting for you the whole time. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I went very close to the victory there. Sorry, to the top 8 there. All right, I guess it's time to discard those uh, Shivan's Fire. Uh, reclamation, the reclamations are kind of hiding, right? I don't know why, but I'm not drawing Reclamation anymore. Yeah, this uh, last PT was nice, it was nice. I started with a good 3-0, my pod was uh, not the hardest, and uh, I opened the Guardian project and got past the Biomancer's Familiar. So, I put a never put in the graveyard any card with Search for Ascanta. That's pretty unreal if you think about it. Uh, all right, let's just cast this Chemistar, discard Shivan Fire. And then, so I, I was just a pretty good Simic. Uh, okay, there it is. Uh, there's my land. Uh, sorry, that's my that's my reclamation. I'm gonna just cast Growth Spiral here. I don't want to just cast Chemistry's Inside right now. Because uh, I feel like 
I have enough uh, I, have, I have enough good cards this tapped and then take my turn all right opponent has six men and up and we have uh, seven cards in hand we are, we, have, we are not in a rush uh, of casting reclamation let's just pass they have seven cards in hand you don't have to, if 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 your opponent on esper doesn't hit land drop and you have land drop uh, it's kind of cool to just pass the turn you don't really need to overextend or anything all right now they drew land uh, what did you play in Cleveland? I played Sultai, Sultai Midrange, my favorite deck. All right, now what we can do is to just bait something with an expansion for, uh, so I can expansion for four, sorry, explosion, or four, I think, at four, eight, yeah. So I'm gonna explode for four, quattro, otto, yeah, I'm gonna explode for four, the reason why I explode for four is that I can cast uh, expansion on their counter to counter their counter. It's pretty weird, but uh, that's what I can do. I cannot copy my own explosion, but I can copy their absorb or negate. Uh, all right, uh, draw land. Oops, okay, I should have put land first. But uh, it didn't happen, so Wilderness Reclamation is on the stack now. I was about to play a land, but yeah. Uh, so it happens. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cast Sinister. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, Arena. Wanna... Okay, Sinister Sabotage. <laughs> it's pretty hard to manage all these cards in hand. Especially since I also try to look at the chat, try to look at the stack, try to look at the lands that the Alpha Topper is stopping. This is not the best uh, deck to just, uh, you know, play relaxed. All right, so I'm gonna absorb. Sorry, syncopate the absorb. So I'm now fully tapped out. But uh, thanks to this wonderful card called Wilderness Reclamation, I can now pass the turn with uh, all the mana and taps. And there's no way my opponent can beat me. Not punished for forgetting land drop. Yeah, I wasn't really forgetting, but <laughs> just misclicked the reclamation. I wanted to cast mountain, but I misclicked into reclamation. But yeah, not punished, luckily. Uh, now we're basically just, ooh, Teferi. All right, I'm just countering, cause whatever. We're looking for, uh... Yeah, not this. I don't know why I put it on top earlier. We're looking for uh, Nivmizi. But yeah, at, at this point, I can't really see how my opponent can beat me. Where are you, Nivmizi? I don't even know how many, how many lands I have. Alright, there it is. There's the Nivmizi, and that's the game. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just casting cards right now. Hopefully my opponent concedes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Did you play Landluster? This deck seems sweet. It is, it is. We basically undefeated because the only loss we got was due to an over, an overview. Uh, yeah, what are we now? I don't know. 506, so I guess we're gold, but still, our opponent will play good decks. The only not good deck was the one that they got us. <laughs> oh, put the stop, yeah. Uh, Alright, yeah, you go first. I don't have green mana to cast Growth Spiral, but I do have an opt. Zerk stresses me out whenever... When I see you overpass... Yeah, that that's true. <laughs> That's true. Sorry, guys, for that. Um, I'm still, uh, despite I'm in the MPL, I'm still quite new to constructed uh, to constructed um, standard. Uh, this breeding pool is fine, but it's uh, quite some damage against mono red. Why don't you use thief in your soul tie? Uh, the reason why I don't use um, Teeth in my soul tie is that 
uh, we didn't like Thief very much. So first thing first, against uh, right, this is one of the situations where I want to explain all my thought process, but I also don't want to punt. So it's kind of it's kind of hard, but I'll try my best. I uh, by the way, here I want to play Soul for Falls. The reason is that if I need to cast Sinister Sabotage, I cast it. Other way, I just cast Growth Spiral and play Topland. The reason why I did not play uh, Thieves of Sanity is that it's not very good against Nexus or decks with chemistries inside, because sometimes you're in you know, that situation. In the mirror match, it's good uh, if, if it comes into play early, uh, but there's still four casts down to deal with it quite easily. So overall, it wasn't very good. And also, it's not very good for the mana base. And uh, I would never not play Wild Growth Walker package in my deck. So this is basically the explanation. All right, I think I have to let the versus. I think I have to cast Wilderness Reclamation uh, next turn, and I don't want to shock myself. I just want to. I, I just have to play Growth Spiral here. If I hit the land drop, I will untap with lots more mana. All right. Okay, no land drop, so probably just gonna lose the game here. <sighs> it's okay. Why no crazes? Uh, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Uh, all right, are we dead here? I, I have to counter this. Not dead yet, but I don't think I don't think we can win this game at this point. If you cannot beat them, join them. Um, I did beat Monored earlier. Now I'm gonna lose to it most likely. All right, first loss. I guess at some point you have to start losing, and uh, we start with Monored. Defeat. I did play some Monored, but I think it's not very fun to watch. So let's just this deck is more fun, right? I hope I this is best of one. Yeah, it's best of one. I have to practice for the Mythic Invitational uh, at Pax East, a very cool tournament that I was invited to. So, and that's gonna be best of one. I actually don't have any more standard event. So best of three will be, yeah, forgotten a little bit from my side. Next event is a Mythic Championship, a Mythic Invitational Boston, and then it's Mythic Championship London, which will be modern with the new Mulligan rules. So it's gonna be pretty hard to test for. All right, I'm gonna go just Shiv on Fire because I don't wanna uh, let my opponent enable Spectacle. When will be the tournament? The 22nd of uh, March. Alright, Island. Uh, there's not much I can do. I'm looking for green source. Uh, Bilbao? No, I do not play modern, so I won't go to Bilbao. Alright, I'm gonna just go uh, expansion here. I think. It's not, it's not the greatest. But I kind of like to just make uh, use of my expansion, even if I don't have enough mana to do that. Uh, when is the arena tournament? Uh, it's the 22nd of March. Your table manners are great. Your matching is pretty much... Thank you very much. Yeah. Alright, Rakdos Guild Gate and pass. No land, so we have to ship it back. Uh, your opponent... Your uh, opponent deck will be fun. Priest of Forgotten... Yeah, maybe. Lenny Strike main phase. So they are looking for they're looking to return their gutter bones. Unfortunately, I cannot syncopate this. And I don't want to copy it with my expansion, so I'll just let them have their gutter bones back. Alright, Hinterland Arbor, this is nice. Uh I'll pass here. No rush. I watch only for cooking tips and the scarf. Uh alright, cannot syncopate because they have three mana up, so I guess I'll pass. Legion or a boss? All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna just ship on fire that, and I can also copy it. See what happens. So I can go ship on fire and copy it with the explosion to get both. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So ship on fire, target that, and then uh, expansion to copy it. Solve and kill the other one. All right. So right now we don't have that many payoffs if we draw a team reclam a reclamation. 
but um, but I like to just be able to uh, to use all these. Oh, right, there it is. I guess I should have waited. Uh, yeah, there's no point in um, putting any stops. I just passed the turn. If you sync up it there, they can't return their gutter bones. I know, I know, but I don't like uh, I don't like that play. Okay, I can now sync up it this. I don't like to syncopate for just tapping mana. You want to uh, trade your spell one for one. You don't want to just use your spell to tap their mana. You always want to be ma uh, mana, uh, sorry, spell efficient. All right, let's put the stop in the end step. So I can now uh, untap first, cast chemistry's insight, untap second and pass. Yeah, 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 thank you. Thank you for that, yeah. Usually, it's like the same thing with, like, I don't know if you play Legacy, like, Daze. You don't want to Daze or Flasterstorm spells uh, just uh, just so that they can tap their mana. You want to just, you know, get their spell. Sometimes it's the right play, but it's it's pretty rare that that's the case. I think I'm going to go... Uh, so I can either go Chemistry's Insight... Or, yeah, I'm going to go Chemistry's Insight here. Um, yeah, discard a card. Just because it's more mana efficient. Still on 11, I have plenty of time. Not much to do since I don't have anything. Yeah, just, just lands, whatever. Basically I have infinite mana and, and nothing to do with it. So yeah, just go. All right, waiting for an expansion. I guess I used, the, I used all my explosion, I could have waited, but I didn't have any reclamation when I used the second explosion. All right, Theater of Horrors. This could be very annoying. I could lose to this card. All right, my turn. Let's draw something. Nope. All right, so opponent will ping me for one. And uh, yeah, I mean, they might just kill me next turn. I need to draw something now. And it might just not be... Niv Mises might not be enough. I just probably have to draw... Oh, Priest of Forgotten God. Priest of, the, of Forgotten Gods. All right, so they attack me down to six. Then they probably cast the priest. I think I want to wait for end of turn fairy cannon. At the end of the day, uh, if I just go fairy cannon it now, uh, yeah, I, I just want to get the priest of the forgotten god as well. Maybe they have something else. All right. Yeah. Uh, activate. So uh, I'm I'm gonna just do the fairy cannon it in my turn so that they can't uh, return this. Like be mana efficient. I basically have infinite mana. Yeah, I really have infinite mana right now. So mana is not a problem. Yeah, now I regret playing that expansion that early. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, play the deck uh, as if it's like a uh, as if it's like a. Um... All right, my opponent will probably yeah. Okay, now that my opponent stopped out. I'm gonna just kill their board so that they don't use the mana from the gutter bones. But yeah, still dead to basically anything if I don't draw an expansion now. So basically you wanna uh, act like you are a combo deck with a, a reclamation plus uh, expansion so you shouldn't use your expansion explosion that, that easily. I want four life, let's try now. Nope, I'm dead. All right, good game. Okay, fizzled. I guess we fizzled. There's a lot of cantrips and then, and, you know, opts and chemistries inside and, you know, two miss it and four explosion. Sometimes you might miss. Sometimes you might miss, hopefully, you know? Um, yeah, so basically the mistake, well, as I said, some, as I said in my, in my stream all the time, uh, whenever, whenever you lose, focus on where's your mistake. So what was your mistake here? Our mistake was that we used the uh, expansion too aggressively, too early. We should have held, uh, expansion for, for longer. All right, this end is very clunky, but I'm gonna keep. Basically in best of one, it's very hard to mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody mulligans because of the you know the the the, the system. Um, so if you mulligan, you, you're really behind. And I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if uh, post cyborg, uh, sorry, uh, post mulligan, you have the same algorithm that makes you not mulligan. Guess I guess it works like that. 
Uh, all right. I'm going to shock myself. Because you have Sinister Sabotage up. You never know what your opponent play. If they just tap out for Karn or something, might as well just have Sinister Sabotage playing against Esper. So life total shouldn't be a problem. What we want to do here is eating land drop. So if we don't eat land, this opt is basically going to put on bottom anything. It's kind of sad to put on bottom Niv Mizzet, but we have to hit land drops. And we do. Since our opponent shocked uh, earlier, they kind of telegraphed as absorb, so I'm not going to just run any uh, one reclamation into it. I probably have to do it next turn because I'm going to go to discard. But hopefully, I was hoping that my opponent would have played the chemistry's insight or something. Ooh. Uh, all right. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to just expansion now. I can even double expansion. Or I could go. Yeah, I'm going to go double expansion here. Yeah, thank you very much for using the code, whoever did. Um, if you don't, don't worry. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Uh, all right, opponent wants to... Uh, I'm gonna just expansion it. I'm gonna just expansion... Wow, this is nice now. So I can expansion the absor uh, the, the absorb and counter the thought erasure. Look at this. And actually... In some cases, or regent. look at the look on Reed's face there, he can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Thank you very much, all regent, for the sub. In the meanwhile, uh, we managed to resolve a winner's acclamation in a very weird way. Uh, while I was very busy in uh, making sure that the stacked work uh, as was supposed. I'm going to just graveyard this hole for false. I'm just looking for an explosion right now. Or, you know, a payoff. Or just infinite wilderness reclamation. I, I only had one reclamation when I did all the thing, uh, th that whole thing to just l let resolve the reclamation. Um, you know, ha had I know I would have drawn twenty thousand reclamation, I would have probably be you know more keen into just 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 not fighting that hard to let one resolve. But yeah, thank you very much, all regent. That sequence made my head spin. Yeah, that was a that was nice. I should have also played this one reclamation. I don't know why I didn't, but yeah. How good is this deck in best of three? Pascal Maynard made 8-3 uh, at, the, at the PT, so I would say it's good. It's a stack you usually only see in Legacy. Yeah, that, that's true. Flaster Storm on Flaster Storm. But yeah, uh, finally I can catch a stream, says Olin Regent. Yeah, finally. All right, I'm going to cast Sinister Sabotage, mainly because I want to just dig down, dig, dig deeper uh, in my deck to look for a payoff. Yeah, I think it holds up in the meta, yeah. I mean, obviously this game, we have drawing the bad part of the deck uh, with the, the shocks and, and stuff like that. But we did defeat Control earlier pretty easily. But we, you know, also drew uh, like a lot of Chemistry's Insight. Like we drew like thir three Chemistry's Insight. Like imagine if this game we draw Chemistry's Insight. It's pretty unreal. Because we have like basically infinite mana, for instance. Ooh, that's a big boy. I can actually kill this big boy with the two Shim on fire. But I will just just dump a bunch of cards into it. All right, let's draw something good. Ooh. All right, guys. How much mana is this? Five. All right. Guess it's enough mana, right? Uh. Yep. Next. 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 Done, ability on the stack, float. Resolve. Float. I don't know how much damage is it. It's probably not going to be lethal, but it uh, will just draw so many cards that I can't imagine losing at that point. We could even just stop now and just untap with, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop now. I'm gonna just explosion my opponent for uh, eleven. Right, nine plus six is fifteen. Yeah, eleven. So pay eleven, you me, and so that I untap with uh, a bunch of cards. All right, so 
uh, resolve. So I have to go to discard now. I will be discarding all the fiery cannonades. Uh, all the Shivan fires. And yep, all right. We haven't drawn a counter magic, which is kind of unfortunate. This turn, though, I can go Niv Miz it and hopefully just just fire them off, just enlight them, lit them on fire. Actually, maybe I can't because they just go, because they just go. Removal spell on my Niv Miz it when I try to untap. So maybe I should just go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go chemistries now. Come on, why do I why why do you tap this way? Alright, I'm just gonna go up first. That's pretty unfortunate. I actually forgot about the Nezahal there. Alright. Uh I don't think I can win. Can I win? I don't think I can win here. I think my opponent will get me. Especially since I'm just making them draw extra cards. Why didn't I cast Niv? How can I cast Niv, my friend? I mean, end of turn, I have 5 mana. Niv Mizzet does not have flash. Also, I don't have mana. Alright, so I'll play Sulfur Falls. So I can cast Niv, but they'll just let it resolve and uh, kill it. But there's not really much I can do. If they have a kill spell, like a Mortify or whatever, I, I probably just lose here. I'm on 14. Maybe, maybe I'll... Yeah, whatever. Let's just... Should have should have probably drawn more. I don't know. Would it be better to cut a couple of lands? Would it? I don't, don't think so. I don't think so. The algorithm only helps you in... Uh, the algorithm only helps you... Ooh, does my opponent not have anything? That would be pretty insane. Wow, let me untap. That's crazy. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna uh, cast Shiv on Fire. I'm fine if my opponent draws a card. I just wanna burn them. It's pretty crazy that my opponent let me have wow. Niv Mizzy. Uh, I'm casting another sheep on fire. Could have kicked it, but look at the stack by the way. Resolve, resolve. Draw only lands. I guess. Ooh, no, 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 I should have burned them. Fuck, I thought this was a shield on fire. All right, I guess. Uh, yep, there resolves. We have 20,000 lands and nothing to do with them. Hello, Tiso Universe. I'm very busy right now with this uh, Timur Reclamation deck. It really uh, needs a lot of attention. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, so the algorithm. All right, opponent. Uh, going now to do that. Unfortunately, I can't. So let's let's draw card first. Oh, no, chemistry is inside. So I'm gonna do one damage to them. Uh, so I can cast chemistry. Ca I can cast chemistry's inside, and burn them a little bit. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully that damage that I lost there doesn't cost me the game. Uh, Alright, draw two cards. So I could put them down to five. Yeah, I think I'll think I'll just burn them. Then the Rastis Contempt unfortunately resolves. I'm putting sure that the Rastis Contempt that they miss it before I untap my lands, by the way. But yeah. You can't sink and punt. What's punt? All right, so let's untap. Um, let's cast growth spiral first. I don't mind if they draw cards. That's fine. I'm gonna just do everything now because my opponent is kind of choked on mana. They only have four. All right, I'll play an untap land here because I want to cast the chemistry's insight. Looking to draw a. I'm looking to draw a. Expansion. I didn't. 
All right. I guess I should have, not, now that I think about it, I should have uh, take all the mana and then start doing stuff. So I could have uh, syncopated the, the rest is contempt. But again, if my opponent just, um, if my opponent just, just rest is contempt, the, the, the Niv Mizzet, you know, before the reclamation thing goes on, there's no way I can win. But yeah. All right, we're still in this game somehow. My opponent has a, a lot of cards in end, but we have a lot of mana. He drew oh that that's probably right. He drew versus contempt off of Nezahal. That's that's true. I don't know. That's so many cards. Even Mortify kills it. It's pretty weird, but yeah. That could have been the case. Alright, one Nezahal is in the bottom of the deck, but we have only 16 cards in the deck. How many uh explosion do we have in the deck? Expansion. Only one? Hmm. Thought erasure. Alright. Let's counter this. So I can, if this resolves, I can just uh, dig one deeper. <laughs> kind of cool, look how many cards they have. <laughs> Hopefully a lot of them are like Moment of Craving and Crab the Carnarium. Run out of land and I think that's the game right now. Yep. All right, good game. Good game, we're on seven opponent just attacks and we did. Yep, good game. Um, if I just float mana instead of just start casting stuff, I have more mana in pool. So that that's what we learn from this game. You basically, when you have three uh, reclamation like that, you just float mana in your pool uh, and then start doing something, especially in a deck like this with syncopate. Hello, Dory. How's going? Here in Italy, it's uh, three a.m. Um, very dark outside, I assume, but all, all, all good in here. Have you been doing well with this deck in best of one? We are alive since uh, 1 hour 20 minutes. Uh, we lost uh, to Monored, uh, now Esper Control, and I don't think we have lost much more games. Yeah, we, we I, th I think we're, do we're doing pretty well, but again, I'm, I'm gold tier yet, since I've not been playing too much Sandron on Arena. I'm keeping this pretty bad end. Two Esper. Yeah, we lost to two Esper. The weather report. Dark. Did the mono red deck matchup feel bad? I think it did feel bad. Alright, apparently I'm playing against mono red again. I think it did feel bad. We beat one mono red deck, but uh, I don't know. I kind of felt very lucky that, that, that one time that we beat them. We are 1-1 one one against mono red. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just Shiva fire this now so that they can't uh, burn me with uh, the one mana three damage since that's a wizard. Are you going to go all night? Uh, no, I'm not gonna go all night. No, <laughs> definitely not gonna go all night. I'm trying. I, th I think I'm, I'm. I think I'm awake now. I have a lot of things to do. I just returned uh, yesterday from uh, two weeks of uh, testing and uh, uh, the Mythic Championship Arena. Sorry, Mythic Championship, uh, Cleveland Tabletop. I was kind of confused with all these names. I have to, I sent my article for China Fireball, uh, the Sultai deck guide that I used at the PT. Um, I have to do more legacy videos since, uh, you know, there's always more legacy videos to do. And then I have a bunch of things to handle, you know, the, um, always, uh, then this weekend, I'm gonna go on vacation with um all right i can cope with this i think i'm very excited to cope with this right now because i want to hit land drops oh look at this look at this light up the stage just enlightening all the stage pay two life down to 13 playing wilderness reclamation on top of my land go it's kind of kind of kind of nice uh are you going yeah this weekend I'm gonna go on vacation uh, to Rome, despite I'm in Italy, um, never really visited Rome properly. So with my girlfriend, we'll be going to Rome. Been to Rome a couple of times for some magic tournaments, but never went to like the Vatican museums or, or stuff like that. So yeah, this will be, this will be the time. Your Chino Fireball article are fire. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. There will be another one very detailed again about Sultai and all the the new stuff there 
Uh, all right, I think I want to go a uh, sinister sabotage on this guy. Despite I have on fire for it, I think I want to just go mm, shock. Okay, syncopate. Uh, I think I like syncopate. Uh, all right, let's just cast Gort Spiral. Playland uh, tapped. Admana. No, come on, all the time. I would have just had the mana and then cast the Chemistry's inside, but I didn't set the stop, so psh, it, all, it all went away. Say hi to the Pope for me, I will, I will. I probably won't see the Pope in person, but I can say goodbye from very far. But I, I, I don't think I will be there on Sunday, there's too many people. Alright, there's a lot of... Yeah, I think I'm gonna sync a bit this. I'll syncopate that, Shivan fire that, and uh, let's see if I draw land for Niv Mizi, I don't. I could cast a mini expansion, it's not really mini, but all right, I uh, didn't put a stop, so <laughs> whatever. I visited Italy when I was younger, beautiful country, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny how uh, you know, despite living in Italy, I haven't, you know, what, view, visit all the things that, like, maybe my my American friends visit whenever they come here. All right, I'm just gonna uh, counter this. Been to Florence, though. I visited Florence. There, there, there's so many, there's so many great things to, to to view here in Italy that even uh, even people that live here <laughs> you know can't can't see them all uh, all right let's cast this draw two let's cast the growth spiral put a land into play let's add mana yeah let's add mana resolve and cast chemistry's insight discarding any of it since we have two looking for a counter magic but yeah two lands are fine pass uh never been to rome uh yeah no, i mean i've been to rome but never visited properly like i've been to rome uh you know to fly from uh you know to fly from rome many times to play tournaments many times but never like you know actual visit account you know you know whenever whenever there's a gp anywhere you just go you know oh i went to wherever but in in actual you just never view it you never visit properly a city like you know there's so many things in rome that you have to be there for like one a month to visit them all i'm just gonna go for a weekend uh we booked some tickets for some museums but yeah just three or four thoughts on the tournament did you enjoy it you mean the the mythic championship equivalent i i did enjoy whenever you win in magic you usually enjoy the the event uh all right my opponent is gonna make me um are they dead i think they're dead i'm just gonna um take four here because i think my opponent is very much dead right now all right let's put the stop and then we have the combo. Niv Mizi plus expansion plus wilderness reclamation. All right, so let's resolve the first. Add mana. Resolve the second. All right, and let's explode my opponent. So we have now 15. So explosion for 11. Pay 11. You, me. And the old 22. Yeah. Resolve all. And now. And now. Come on. Wow, I have to do this 11 times? 
It's a lot of time. What happens if you time out here? <laughs> the, the, those are the questions that are resolvable. And then pshu, 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 pshu. Where can you find my list? Go exclamation mark deck or deck list. And you'll find the list. It's not mine. It's from Pascal Maynard. Oh, you mean my list at the PT? Uh, if you go on my Twitter account, it, it's there. All right, I need to go to P right now. So I'll just, uh, I'll just show you guys the deck and uh, you know, return in one second. So yeah, just, just wait for me. Just wait for me. Oh guys, did you see? There's my cat right there. Did you see guys? You see that? That 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 little that little spot there, next to the pillow. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? All right, I'm gonna open the packs. How many packs I have? Oh, only four. Let's open them all. Let's open some Kaya. Ooh, Mythic Rare. Too bad it's a wrong format. And Hollow Fountain. That's nice. Do you lose your luggage? Yeah. No. I. I hopefully I don't lose. I don't. I haven't. Hopefully they'll find it. It would be pretty bad if I lose it since there's the whole standard <laughs> in the luggage. That's the whole standard, and that's some foils that I bought. So hopefully I haven't lost it. My stream is beautiful. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's a comfy cat. It's right here. There it is. He's awake, by the way. The eye, the eye is open. He's listening. He's listening to all the whispers. Let's continue playing Timur Reclamation. So would you say Golgari was bad after all the PT? Uh, no, Golgari was a... Uh, Sultai, I was playing Sultai, not Golgari. Was a very good choice. Do you take your legacy deck on a hand luggage? Uh, I didn't bring my legacy deck. My legacy deck, it's uh, very rare, it's a foil uh, legacy deck, so yeah, I would take with me. I put it on the luggage because it was just a standard deck, and also I haven't lost all that, the luggage in a very long time, so I kinda, you know, uh, thought that at this point I was just running good, but I flew, I, I was always flying with Delta, or our friends or KLM, this, fine, this time I flew with Ufthansa and United. And my bag was lost, so I guess I not that keen into flying with uh, Lufthansa and um, United anymore. Uh, what was your favorite part of the Magic Championship Cleveland? What is my favorite part? Hmm. I mean, winning uh, winning that game three against Ben Friedman was pretty excited. Uh, maybe opening a droid crazies in pack two where I decided to switch basically um, So uh, second draft was very very cool. I drafted uh, I drafted um, I think I drafted pretty well I just re read the signal mo moved into Simic Simic was open and on top of that I opened a droid crazies So that was definitely probably the best moment when I opened a droid crazies uh, all your luck you was used in the MC. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All my luck was used there. Yeah. No, but seriously, I haven't lost my baggage, my lag luggage in forever. But I would I was only flying with Delta and uh, and 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 KLM and Air France. So I really I really recommend those um, those airlines. I mean, Lufthansa was nice, you know, the airplane is beautiful and everything was great, but they just lost my luggage at the, at the first time, so. All right, I'm gonna just counter this, just because um, they might just be, I think they're mana screwed, of the way their, their, their mana is. They, you know, you, they usually, you usually play blue first. So yeah, I think they're mana screwed, so that's why I countered. The Sultai beat the mono blue deck enough though. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have played Sultai if we didn't have a good matchup against the uh, mono blue. Game one, uh, you see, th th this is the motor bug I was talking about. You graveyard a breeding pool and then you draw it immediately. But obviously, but obviously it's a joke. So, don't. It's it's, it's no, it's not not a bug. Um, yeah, the you you're you're underdog in game one against mono blue, but then you have a favorable matchup post sideboard. Uh, it's that favorable that 
uh, I think overall it's a good matchup because of how good it is post sideboard. But I was sideboarding a lot. I was sideboarding 12 cards against blue. And also the um, uh, the boarding now was also like, you know, I, everything is said uh, in my article that will be uh, on Channel Fireball very soon. Uh, our sideboard out was Wild Growth Walker. We were, we were, no, no, th this is the, I think this is uh, the deck from, uh, uh, all right, wow. This, I love this play, by the way. Just go expansion on Tormenting Voice. Two mana draw two, no big deal. Our opponent discarded a mountain, we don't have to because that's an additional cost. So basically, we just draw two cards if you manage to expansion a hey, tormenting voice. It's very nice. Yeah, this is the list from uh, Luis Cot Vargas. One blood crypt only. And then you, you see by radicality and tormenting voice, usually it's a tricks that's not play those cards. Was it by Sulu? Was it a surprise for you too then that would remember blue in the top eight? Uh, you know, guys, how it works the PD, right? Uh, there's three mono blue, but uh, basically you're just one game, uh, sometimes you're one game away from the top 8, like I lost my game 3, the winning in the top 8, you know, there could have been a soul tie, and uh, you know, um, uh, basically uh, you can't really tell too much from the top 8 of a PT, you know what I mean? I know it's kinda like uh, a bad thing to because because basically you can't really say too much you can't really tell too much from the top eight uh if a deck is very good or very bad like of course if there are six but even uh all right this is one exile so i can go syncopate x equal four uh even the last pt where there was six white in the top eight the kinda you know break pretty bad again like the breakers and stuff like that all all all, all little things that head up and yeah, I don't, I don't think blue is uh, is that good, especially if you don't play that well, like the, the final. Like, did you guys see game five of the finals? I, I don't think anyone would have won that game. Maybe Reed Duke and Houghton Brochet, but it was basically there. I think that like five people in the world would have won that, that, that game. There's no way you don't go for Cruise Obsession plus Dive Down. And if you do, uh, attack, um, Ikawa would have just gone uh, cast down Kai and the game would have been over. But Houghton Brochet, masterfully played that game and won it so i don't i don't think mono blue will be again i i all right just gonna put this top plant nexus was not surprising since 71 yeah yeah i think it's fine meta game was very balanced i i liked it there were like what six or seven top decks that that were all viable. All right, we got Niv Mizi three six. Yeah, I'm gonna just cast Niv Mizi, and uh, I think I'll play on top land and cast Niv Mizi. Pay two life, cast Niv Mizi. Pass the turn. Next is at the highest conversion. Sure. What are your tier one decks? Uh, what do you mean with your? For me to play, I would play. Sultai is my is my favorite deck, but the tier decks are like the top the top six decks. Sultai, Nexus, Esper, White, Red, and Blue Agro. All right, Ra is it Viceroy? Unfortunately, can't do anything with it, so I just had to let it resolve. Phoenix had the highest conversion though, but but it doesn't matter day one day two. Like in order to make day two, you have to do four four, and. Um, Seven players from Channel Fireball played this at Phoenix, so it's and you have to do four four with with draft, so it's pretty you know. It's not that hard, uh, if you are a top pro to make day two, and if you play you know if you practiced enough and etc. So, so don't just look at the conversion rate day two day one and stuff like that. There's a lot of factors. Um, that go into uh, a PT results. It's not just uh, it's not just uh, you know the conversion or stuff like that. All right, can I kill my opponent now? I don't think I can. Four seven. Nope, I can't. Let me count again. Three six seven mana. So I have seven fourteen eighteen. Nope, I can't kill them. Uh, I can still cast this though. Comp is soft confirmed. What do you mean? 
three. Okay, untap. Uh, actually, no, yeah, it's fine. The more popular deck will have lower conversion rate. I mean, it depends. If the deck are very good, they don't. But you know, it's not the case in this format. There's not, there's not a very good deck. The play design team did an insane job. This standard is super uh, balanced. Finally, I catch you live. Were you in Ohio? I was in Ohio. Right now, I'm in Italy. Uh, all right. There weren't enough Phoenix players to make conversion rate matter. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's a Phoenix is a good deck. And the reason why it isn't is that only Vargas made the top eight. If the deck was, you know, good enough, I'm sure that more uh, more of the team channel five would have done well. All right, I'm gonna go Shivan Fire instead of Syncopate. They'll probably counter it. <laughs> you never stream chat time on. <laughs> Pack one, pick one. That's a pack one, pick one. Guardian project. That's the the pack one, pick one dream that me and Avir wanted, and I opened it at the PD. <laughs> me and Avir were talking about what do we want to open, and Avir said, uh, "I want to open Guardian project," and I said, "I want to open Ethereal Absolution," and then I opened Guardian project. <laughs> that's, that's quite funny. All right, I'm gonna cast Chemistry's inside. This card very canonized. Um, not looking for much. I mean, this this game is over. My opponent can't really interact with my expansion. That sh that is easily uh, easily lethal next turn. Did you play any money draft? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. You got good tasting streams. All right. Uh, done. Is consistency the main problem of Phoenix? I think the main problem of Phoenix is that um. If you don't draw, if you don't draw like well, your deck is pretty bad. Like Radical Idea is probably the weakest card to ever see constructed play. Two mana to draw a card is really overpriced. And if you don't have uh, a Goblin Electromancer or a or a ever like like every time Vargas was on camera or around, he always had three Phoenix in the top ten cards. That that really make the deck better or or worse. I don't know if I'm winning here, so I have 12, yeah, I am winning, so, resolve. I think I have to place around Spell Pierce. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I, on Sunday, I went to the GP because there was the, the Magic Fest in Cleveland at the same time that there was, uh, at the same time that there was the... The PT, there was also the GP, so on Sunday I went to play the standard double up. Because I love the ooh, did we got did we got oh gold tier one yet? The gold grind never ends. Alright, let's continue. Did you play 15 lands in <laughs> no? I played 16 lands in the first draft and the second. But yeah, I even played, you know, at the at the GP, I played 18 lands where I went 0-3 in, 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 uh, in Strasbourg. All right, this is uh, the gate land. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens to those decks that you draw, just draw your top lands. And that doesn't feel good. Luckily, I'm on the play, so I don't feel it that much. What did you play on Sunday? I played the standard double up with Sultai. You were 5, I went 5-1, yeah. All right, what do we want to do here? I think I'm just going to go... I'm just going to pass here. If my opponent plays search for, uh, Easter of Benali, I, wanna, I need to counter it with Syncopate. Do you think is a Drake's is still a tier one? Uh, I think it's a Drake is, is a good deck, yes. Um, I don't like it very much, uh, the matchup against Sultai, now that Sultai is bringing four cast down. It's Sultai now it's very ready for uh it's very ready for um for Easy Drakes. But it's, it's it's still a viable deck, yes. It has a very good matchup against blue and red, so that helps. Who won the GP? In uh in Cleveland, uh Alan Vu won the GP. What's double up? Basically, uh side events 
uh, in uh, at the GP are uh, in the morning. There's the double up, which basically doubles the price. Sorry, the price. Uh, you pay forty dollars, but you get a lightning bolt that the vendors buy for twelve dollars. So you basically play, pay twenty eight dollars. And then if you go to one, you get four hundred packs, uh, four hundred points, which is sorry, two hundred points, which is twenty packs. So you basically pay twenty eight dollars. And if you go to one, you get twenty points. You get um, twenty boosters. If you go two or drop, you get four forty boosters. If you go three or, you get sixty boosters. So it's really a very very much uh, EV plus. Why sixteen seventy lands on draft? If you can reveal your trade secrets. I obviously can reveal the secrets, that's why I'm streaming. You just ask me a questions and I will answer in all the honesty of the word. Um, sometimes I play 16 lands if uh, I have I, I had two guy engineer, the three mana guy that adds for two mana, and I had uh, um, a locket, so I was playing 16 plus a locket. Whereas in the second draft, I didn't have any guy engineer, so I played 17. Yeah, the, 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 the GP, uh, the double up uh, is very, very much uh, EV+. Plus. They give you the Lightning Bolt uh, non-foil, which, you know, it's kind of cool. I I prefer, I have my foreign blackboard, I have my Italian Lightning Bolts. This one sucks. Alright. You basically can never mulligan in best of, <laughs> in best of one, though, so I'll keep this. Yeah. And actually, in some cases, people look food. on Reed's face that he can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Thank you very much, daddy 2 food for your sub. Ooh, and the train. And actually, in some cases, look at the look on Reed's face that he can't quite yeah. believe what's happening to him here. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Sinsipa. Hello, friend. Thank you very much for all your subs. Meanwhile, for those of you who wondered how's the magic against red, we are trying right now with this very crappy hand. I wish I had a um, burn spell, a copy to, to kill this. Do you play Italian Bolt? Because if you forget what it does, at least you can read the card. Oh, I can. I only play cards that I can read. I never play cards that I cannot read, unless it's like, you know, a legacy staple that is just fancy because it's Japanese or whatever. Or usually, I, I never buy for egg. Like, I never buy. Hmm. I'm gonna counter this. I never buy like German or French or Spanish cards. If I buy a card, it's Italian or English. But I bought four four Terramander. That was just for the um, for the swag. Our opponent's burning us out slowly but surely. Gitu Lava Runner. I'm gonna just they have two spell right. Yeah. Gonna just counter this. Basically, I want to use all my sinister sabotage. Looking for reclamation. Hmm, Shivan fire. Uh, I don't like it. Maybe I should have topped it. But if my opponent doesn't have another creature and all they and all they have is fanatical firebrand, uh, I prefer just digging for my combo instead of just you know using a kill spell or this. Oh, chain whirler. All right, that's a that's a pretty bad land. No, I, th I think I have to look for team rec for re reclamation now. There it is. All right. So we are on nine. So I'll play reclamation. Pass the turn with five mana up. I think that's growth spiral and sinister sabotage. Though my life total was very low here. I go down to. I go down to four to five. Then my opponent probably has friends in their hand. Nope. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just cast chemistry's inside because it's more. Uh, I should have should have tapped differently because if I draw opt now I can cast it. All right. So I'm down to two life. So I can cast growth spiral reclamation. What am I looking for here? I don't know, let's see, Growth Spiral, play this tapped, then I'm gonna go Sulfur Falls, Reclamation, I have to draw like Shivan Fire to get rid of the Chain World. 
So I can go chemistry is inside this card, search for a scant, and I need to draw something good now. I draw two lands and I die. Too bad, too bad. Hi Mango, do you think Walker Explore Package is not good in Sultai Midrange? It, it is, it is. You have to play four Wagroth Walker, four Branch Walker, four Jailer Ranger, or you're gonna lose to uh, a pretty big chunk of the meta game, and you don't want to do that. What does everyone look to? What, who does everyone look to for limited and standard advice on your team? Uh, what do you mean? Like you, the role of our... I think uh, our team is... Uh, yeah, I think... Um, hmm, some, some, you mean standard or, or limited master? Hmm. I'm not sure. I think my team is overall uh, very many... There's very many good players. And uh, we all uh, kind of... Um, you know, trust each other a lot. For example, in our team we had Ruff Levy, who basically broke uh, uh, the format with, uh, I mean, broke GP Strasbourg with Rakdos Aggro that, I don't know, kind of nobody was drafting. At least I, I was really having a bad record with Rakdos Aggro, whereas Ruff was just killing it. I, I, I avoid uh, Rakdos Aggro a lot, so that was fine for me, but yeah, he was he was kind of kind of cool with it. I mean the cap. No, the captain is Li Shitian. Li Shitian is the leader. We call him the leader because he's the leader. Basically, all right. Do I want to have the, the land here? I probably don't. Right. Looking for Atkant, I guess. Fairy Kant is pretty bad. And land. Huh. Uh, I guess I'll play top land. I don't need to play Shivan Fire. I, actually, I do. If I put a place Jedi Ranger, I want to just Shivan Fire it. Smurfolk Collect is a lot better than I thought. It is? Alright, they play Wagroth Walker. And yep, there's nothing I can do about it. Sinister Sabotage. I need to play Dorland Arbor now and counter Jailer Ranger, because I think my opponent has Jailer Ranger in their hand, or they wouldn't have kept his hand. Because they clearly drew a Wagroth Walker now. Wow, they don't have Jailer Ranger? They kept a pretty bad hand then. Just curious on how your meetings work in general. Uh, usually me and Avier play a lot of Constructed and uh, just arrive with uh, very strong ideas. We kind of tune them uh, with the rest of the team and then we have um, and then we have a limited meeting where uh, we, uh, Saito brings all the cards so we kind of lay, lay out lay down all the all the car all the commons and we kind of discuss about it in groups. That usually happens the Thursday, the day before the PT. And for for constructed, we basically just play test. I am very, I have a very very strong schedule. I just play a lot, make sure to have play tested every single matchup. Open does not attack now. Make sure to have play tested every single matchup uh, thoroughly. All right, what do we want to do here? I probably just want to kill these things. My opponent looks like they are. Uh, Looks like, looks like my opponent is kind of mana screwed here. Enter stopped. Just gonna do it in their upkeep. No, I actually have to do it now because uh, then I have to discard. So I have to do it now. So I'm gonna go Fairy Candonate and then Shiv on Fire. I don't exactly know what my opponent has. Probably Vivian Reed. And um, yeah, but they have, they have to draw land now. Is this Pascamana list? It is. So it's 75% limited practice, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, basically it's like that. My preparation is mainly only draft. Uh, and then, um, you know, one or two weeks prior to PT, I start playing a lot. But before that, I never play standard. Standard is very overrated. All right, uh, this Vivian Reed should have been uh, countered, I guess. So that was a pretty... Pretty big mistake on my side. I was just too focused on talking as always. My opponent didn't have the fifth land last last turn, but I could have easily drawn it. And now, and now we're in this spot where I can't cast Niv Mizzet. Yeah, basically at the Pro Tour tabletop, you need to only practice uh, limited, and then just play whatever standard list um, you feel you feel is the best. It, it doesn't really matter how tuned it is or you know things like that. All right, uh, let's play a 4-4 four, four flyer. Stroke up first. I'm looking for a reclamation. 
Mm, even if I found it though, what, what, what am I doing with it? Alright, uh, I'm gonna cast this for Sabotage here just because I wanna just dig deeper. Expansion, alright, I'm keeping this. Is this candidate worth setting? No, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think this worth. I don't think it's worth sideboarding that in. All right, so I can expansion for three. I think I'll do it next turn, though, not now. Yeah, re recently I've done very well in my last uh, eight PT. I always went X six or better. And it's always it's always been on behalf of my good limited score and uh, fine constructed score. Like I never did worse than six four in my last uh, eight PT, and I never did worse than three three. I mean three three is pretty bad. I did I did three three once. I went uh, six zero. Oh, uh, all right. Meanwhile, let's see what happens here. Uh, we want to syncopate this, I guess. My plan was to just expansion this. Now, I, I think I have to syncopate this. I have to syncopate this and then I cast just chemistry's insight. I went 6 0 once and I made the top 8. Then I went uh, 5 1 three times, maybe four times. And then I went um, four two, yeah. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, basically, it's been mainly thanks to the limited. All right, there's a lot of expansion. Let, let's draw a team of reclamation. Let's draw a reclamation and win the game, shall we? Nope. All right. So I need to explosion a uh, Vivian Reed for three. And draw. Draw land. All right. All right. I think now, unless my opponent has a Todd Erasure or Assassin's Trophy, we should have enough. All they did was casting crazies. That's for the last three turns. Not a fan of that, but yeah. My opponent would have just gone J Light. Uh, Wildgrowth Walker Jailer Ranger. I don't think I could have ever won, but they didn't do it. So I'm just gonna go uh, one, two, and then uh, that's probably enough, right? This, this should be now enough, enough damage, right? And if it, if, even if it isn't, next turn it will be. So much mana is this? No, it isn't enough. Resolve. So it's 10. Yeah, it's not enough. But I can now, uh, I can now like kill Vivian. So this is 10. So I'm gonna do like 11. I don't know, 10, 10 was fine. So I can do 10, so I can just expansion the Vivian and pass the turn. Explosion, so no, explosion, yeah, the Vivian. For six. Draw six. And then pass the turn. And then next turn, I'll, uh, I'll kill my opponent for sure. Um, do I want to just go to this card? I guess, how many cards do I have? I don't know. Let's just go to this card. This card, Shivan Fire, Chemistry's Insight, and uh, Land. All right, this is the game where it's kind of hard for me to follow. I chat a little bit. Uh, can't you just fork your spell? No, I cannot. You cannot copy. Um, uh, expansion only copies a card that costs four or less. All right. Yeah, it's it's basically um, reclamation is basically game over against Sultai. That's why I think uh, you cannot play Sultai in best of one because it's too bad against the unfair decks. I guess they banned Nexus of Fate in best of one, so there's that. Ah, 
Uh, but by the way, guys, ask me, ask me anything. If you're qualified for the Mythic Championship London, uh, don't hesitate in asking. I'm, I, I'm here. I'm here to help you. Here to to help you all. Wizards of the Coast. As you can see, we're sponsored by Wizards, and we're here to help you guys not only in entertainment, entertaining your night, evening, or wherever you are in the world, but also to just give you advice on how to prepare for, uh, yeah. All right, here I, I think I'll play Search Ross Kanta. What should I play modern? I, it's funny how you said, I will help you, help you, help you, but I can't really help you with that one. Oh, I should have graveyard did this. That was a misclick. Since I'm not a fan of modern, last time I played modern, I played Band Spirits, but now it's at Phoenix, it's kind of the tier one, so Band Spirits is not really the best deck anymore. Not that it was, but it, it was fine before. All right, here I'm looking for land. I don't think my opponent has a land yet. All right. Missed my land drop, so let's just go uh, opt. Uh, maybe I'll just copy it, actually. Yeah, why not? Just explode the opt. Looking for lands here. And uh, it's very important to hit our land drop. Alright. Little refill of lands. What Magic Fest are you planning to attend? I'll be uh, at Magic Fest London, but uh, I'll be playing the Pro Tour. I'll be playing the, the Pro Tour, but you can definitely come say hi at the Magic Fest, just like many people did uh, at this recent one in, uh, in Cleveland. What, uh, what you don't like about Modern? Kid Colossus there. I don't like about Modern the fact that it's very much um, matchup uh, dependent. I really like to play a deck and have my odds against uh, like an, um, a 50-50 odds, whereas in Modern you basically cannot cannot do that. Alright, let me see how many cards in my graveyard. Seven. So I'm just gonna do Library and Flip at Scanta. Transform. Very much matchup dependent. All right, so uh, this is tough here. I think I want to explode my opponent for a little bit, or I can also just cast Chemistry's Insight. I have six mana. Yeah, I'm gonna just make this tapped. Probably doesn't matter, but I don't know. Hello, Tovazar. Wow, this is an early mango stream. Early mango stream, yes. All right, eight damage. Eight damage, my opponent uh, shouldn't have that many relevant card. Jet lagged and drama in the stream, exactly. You know it, Yugi boy. Hello, Aname. I enjoyed your recent, your recent vintage video. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, vintage is uh, one of my favorite formats though to play in real life, because I own the power. I own the power nine and I really, really like to, I really, really like to play Vintage in real life with all my sweet cards. All right, let's look for a Reclamation. That's a miss. Pretty unfortunate. I'm gonna get Growth Spiral and cast it. Come on, Reclamation. Where are you? <laughs> Big funny man, could you? Yes. All right, there it is. Reclamation has been drawn. Now, though, um, what happens here? I think it happens that we lose to the Gate Colossus. I think that's what happens, right? Because I cast Reclamation, I have three money in my pool. I can only. I think I can only explode for not that much. Right? So I cast Reclamation, I have three plus six. Plus four, ten mana. Not quite. I guess I can. No, there's a there's a situation where uh, I can. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is uh, just move to my end step, float mana, cast an explosion for all mana but one, so I can draw. Uh, so I can draw Shivan Fire. That's what I'm gonna do. 
because I have eight. Yeah. So uh, I can. Oh no, it's not enough because Shrine Fire only deals two damage. Yeah. Hmm. So like, what I can do is to do a. I have to draw two shield on fire in my top four cards. It's pretty unlikely. Yeah, not even draw one. All right. Got defeated by basically just a gate colossus. Eight ale is pretty large. Flexist flex that ever flexed. But as uh, I do not, uh, I have one beta. I have one beta mox. But I have eight unlimited power, yes. I'm planning on uh, finishing the beta power nine eventually with all the <laughs> with all the, the the magic pro league winnings. It's definitely a great investment. And uh, I'd rather just invest in things that I know about than just invest on things that I don't know about. So that that's why I like to buy. That's why I like to buy to buy expensive magic card with my savings instead of just you know the price will go down. Yes, <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not sure about that. All right, I want lands. Playing as Merfolk, wow, all right. Playing against, uh, maybe maybe this is a uh, Rough Levy's deck. They don't have second color though. All right, Breeding Pool. Server Guild Adept, oh, Jade Bearer, nice. Uh, I think I'll counter. Dead Deep Root Ail it, so you wanna just, yep. I'm looking for lands because they have one as reclamation. And once I draw land to cast reclamation and tap and go chemistry is inside, then it's you know the game kind of snowballs there. But it's important that we draw. Um that we draw land now, or my opponent might just beat us for too long too much. Alright, pay two life, cast reclamation, go. They will be attacking for a lot though. We might not have too, too much time. I can cast expansion and deal a bunch of damage, but yeah. Hey Aname, how's going the testing for uh, the testing for Boston? The mythic invitational at PAX East. Very, very excited for that event. Merfolk Mist Binder. Wow, there's so much damage now coming across. Am I dead? Maybe I'm just dead. Wow, look at that. Six, nine, ten damage. I'm down to one life. Oh my god. I'm at one life. I don't think I can kill my opponent on this turn. One life. Down. You just reach Diamond Tier 1. Nice. Nice. I wish I wish I could be that good. I'm just I'm just gold. I'm just golding. All right, what to do is here? I guess just concede. Yeah, the Merfolk give us the beats. The beats. Defeat. Yeah, Merfolk on curve is crazy good. It, it definitely is. It definitely is. We got given the beats. No, I'm running any fogs? No, I'm not. I'm not running any fogs. This is just a control deck, kind of. Doesn't really go off like Turbo Fog does. All right, kind of clunky mana base, but can go Rootbound Crag on turn one, and then the rest should come into play untapped, and I should be able to cast every spell. Could have looked for Fairy Cannon. It will still at a five five. Um. Oh yeah, uh, I can I can see I can see your point. Yeah, I could have done that. That's true. I don't know how actually do I dig for it though. What's your favorite type of deck? Uh, mid range. Mid range is my favorite type of deck. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna uh, ship and fire this little guy. 
and then I'll play Intro and Arbor. And pass the turn. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe maybe I should have played um uh, maybe I should have played to my out. I didn't think about that. That was uh quite an unusual uh, lines of play, but yeah, could have definitely done that. Right here I'm just stopping this growth spiral. Just because that way I That way I could have just had more mana. If, if this turn not much happens, I could have gone Growth Spiral, Syncopate, or just Growth Spiral. Hello, Lucas. Lucas4101. Alright, opponent, uh, probably uh, just mana, uh, just mana Flood. Uh, I'm gonna play Mountain because I might need to max out the Syncopate and have Growth Spiral to just put into play a Steam a Stomping Ground tapped. If nothing happens so basically now we're just looking for we're missing a lot of pieces here we're missing the reclamation we're missing uh, yeah I'm missing just a lot of pieces how's my cat doing meanwhile my cat moved position but it's still right there behind me all right they just lightning strike me face which means that they light up the stage that I'm gonna counter X equal four How did you play the GP Strasbourg? How did you play the a GP Strasbourg? What, what does that mean? GP Strasbourg double up. I played uh, GP Strasbourg double up. I played uh, mono white. I played mono white without history of Benalia. Was trying that deck with four uh, um, with four uh, unbreakable formations. The deck did not go very well. All right, put up a seven mountain and the head explosion. We're going up and down to the gold tier to one and two. Eventually, I'll uh, eventually I'll be. I don't even know what's the the level after gold. Is it platinum or diamond? Eventually, I'll be that level, and then probably. Do you have any updates on recommendation to your February? It's a Drake's. Uh, no, I haven't played Drake's anymore because I think Sultai adapted very much to beat it. Um, on the other hand, in best of one, uh, it's a Drake's. Uh, definitely got better with the ban of Nexus of Fate. I think it's a viable deck, uh, especially because it beats on Mono Red. Speaking of Mono Red, we're playing as Mono Red again. We don't have any interaction, but hopefully the search will give us some. Hello, Mazzo. Mazzo in Italian means deck. All right, random with Steam King. Now that I think about it, none of my opponent played Steam King thus far, which is kind of weird. All right, removal spell. Nope. No removal spell for us. So I still have Wilderness Reclamation on turn four plus Chemistry's Insight, which is kind of like the nuts. All right, cannot counter this. This this feels too weak for me to counter. I'd rather just counter via Shino Pyromancer or light up the stage if my opponent will do that. Hmm. So they will attack for at least four, probably dodge four cards, couple of mana. Uh, so how's the how's the day night? So now it's uh, in Italy it's three fifty one a.m., which means in America is uh, kind of ten ten p.m. seven p.m. to ten p.m. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's kind of the evening for you guys. Probably, don't expect to have more uh, many many Europeans viewers awake right now. So yeah, we managed to counter the slightly better card. Fishing of Pyromancer are definitely better than Fandigo Firebrand, also because it's a wizard. Thank you very much. Yeah, I I went very very close to top hating the the Pro Tour last weekend. I lost my winning in against Michael Bondi game three. I had a very close decision. Um, turn four, I could have held mine on top to cast this to have this dangerous stroke. I decided to tap out, and I just died to Biogenic Uh Close decision that cost me a lot. I have some regrets about that choice, but you know, you live. Uh, you live with all these choices. All right, I think I'm this.
I'm gonna sync up at this because uh, I think I have to prevent all the damage that I can. Why not so many Europeans? Oh, with Giovanni. Giovanni from Europe. Maybe, I guess because not all the Europeans are, uh, have a fucked up schedule. Like I do, or in this case you do too. Alright, I wanna draw land here, but I think I'm just gonna die. Yeah, this matchup doesn't feel great, right? Alright, I'm gonna tap. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can ever win this matchup. If they draw like normally. Alright, so I can explode for one to kill a fanatical firebrand. I mean, it's pretty sad, but that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, Australians. Ah, I have a very, very good friend in Australia from Perth, Anthony Lee. It's really great, great guy. All right, opponent decided to maybe they still have lethal. If they just attacked and play Vashina Paramancer after combat, we would have been dead. But yeah, we're dead no matter what. Yeah, yeah, I hold the line strike, okay? They could have dealt me 20,000 damage this game. It's all about Runaway Stimkin. <laughs> if you can't kill it, Mono Red will just burn you will just burn you very, very easily. But yeah, this deck is fun. Even if we have a pretty bad matchup against Red, it's still fun to play. <laughs> all right, all right, I guess. Hmm. The Netherlands. You hear no one plays uh, Mono Red? <laughs> You're wrong. We did play against a bunch of Mono Red. I guess all our losses have been against Mono Red, probably. No, we did lose against Esper as well. Alright, uh, this is weird because two explosions are not the best to have. Ooh, blue. Maybe play against yes. Mono Blue for the first time. Let's see, how's this matchup? What do you think about the new best of one with two decks? Um, I think it's a cool idea. I'll be playing that format at the Mythic Invitation at um, Yeah, that's it's it's kind of a cool format. They wanna basically they wanna basically try to I don't know, I guess reduce the variance by increasing the variance. I don't know what they wanna do, but it's just you know something new. All is cool. To try something new. All right, we're probably just we're probably just lost at this point. Our opponent went turn one creature, turn one obsession on the play. There's no way, there's no way basically this deck can beat it. Only Monorad could beat such start probably. Best of three, yeah, best of three. I prefer best of three as well, but uh, all right, what do we want to do? Here? Upkeep. Hmm. I prefer best of three, but the next event I will be playing is a uh, is a best of one. It's a best of one event. Is the Mythic Invitational uh, at Cleveland at, at Boston? So I need to practice for that. So you'll be seeing a lot of uh, a lot of best of one from me, and very little best of three, probably none, because usually. Uh, usually I play, whenever I play Magic, it's, um, unless it's for fun, like Legacy and Vintage, or Cube, it's to practice for some event. So, not much more limited, since I don't have any limited event uh, starting like, uh, in the near future, but I do have this, this cool event. Alright, play my land. Uh, okay, they have Wizard's Retort, most likely. You got to and have chemistry inside and those. A lot of it's at Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, I guess we all have to uh, thank. Uh, we all have to thank Luis Scott Vargas for people playing it at Phoenix. I really think it's a Phoenix is a very bad deck, but uh, Vargas won with it, so people are excited. But I think it's a bad deck. Same thing for Esper. I'm always very excited when at the PT people win with decks that I that I think are bad because not them people play them more. 
All right, opponent with uh, what seven spells in the end because they're not playing making land drop. How many cards would you play in Sultai? Zero. I'll be writing about. Uh, see, sorry. Um, my so I have three, six, eight cards. Uh, I did write about Sultai. Send the article uh, today, so it will be published in like one or two days on Channel Fireball about the deck that I played at the Mythic Championship that got me 11th place with the 7-3 record. All right, I'll put on, we'll keep on drawing extra cards. I don't think there's a way I can ever win this game. Maybe if they just go mana screw and I res manage to resolve a wilderness acclamation somehow. Like if they fell into my trap and counter this chemistry's inside, maybe. Come on, counter this. Counter this. If they counter this because they have eight cards, nope, they don't. Don't fall for my trap. Just go to discard whatever. Now, um, all right. All right, I think I'm gonna just uh, upkeep a Shiv on fire here. I'll discard a breeding pool, whatever. So university, do you write in English or Italian? My university was in Italian, yes. In Italy, it's very rare to have a university that's not um, that's not in Italian. It has to be like a private university or something. Public university, it's in Italian. Do you play Carney T? I do. If you wanna uh, watch my deck list, follow me on Twitter, as you can see uh, under my nickname uh, here. Uh, at mango nine if you have twitter i pub i published my list what do you think about monored in best of three uh monored has a good matchup against um, the top tier decks so it's kind of cool all right unfortunately uh, i can now go ex yeah that's pretty cool okay i'm gonna go expansion copy my shiv and fire let's see how my opponent reacts to this I think Monoroid is a good choice. My teammate Li Shitian, who usually plays only good decks, uh, did play Monoroid at the PT. So yeah, I think uh, Monoroid is good. I don't, I don't like the Splash of Green. I would, I would just play Monoroid. I think a Splash of Green is not worth it. You're playing Cinder Vines in the sideboard with only eight so uh, sources, which is too little. You can, you can never splash a card for with just eight sources, and you just damage yourself with the Stomping Grounds. So it's not worth it. Just, just play Monoroid. Right, I go blink of an eye. Wow, they completely tapped out. To blink of an eye on the curious obsession. Uh, yeah, it's fine with me. It's pretty weird. All right. All right, so we're in their upkeep now. So let's see if they draw land. They don't. Yeah. The only way we could have possibly won this game was if my opponent uh, uh, would have missed land drop. And I think that's what's happening, so... It's pretty cool. Which deck do you like more, Boros Weenie or Azorius Weenie? Uh, I think Azorius, but again, same thing as before. I kind of prefer to just play Monocolor, because you're splashing one negate with just 8 sources. That's so little. That's so little. All right, uh, I should have put the stop and cast chemistries inside once again. I, I forgot about it. <laughs> it's okay, so we have seven mana now, so I can cast chemistries inside this card is island. And then, wow, my opponent, despite all the things, still doesn't have land drop, so they'll opt here. I'll let, I'll let the opt go, not the opt. Yeah, but still, nine sources. Uh, hmm. All right, I'll let this resolve. If they don't have land, I can just explosion that. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explosion in my turn for way more. Let's cast this. Let's cast growth spiral. Play top land, and then in my turn, oh shit on fire. So what I can do is just shield on fire the Siren Storm Teamer. And then at the end of the turn, 
I'm going to I'm going to explode for a lot. Yeah, go lucky that my opponent never drew the fourth land somehow. I guess that's the, the risk of playing only 19 lands. Alright, so let's resolve this. I wanna untap with a bunch of mana. Let's just explode but not by too much. Yeah, alright, opponent concedes. You said you didn't like Esper. Did you mean Mirage or Control? Uh either. I'm not a